In a small, unassuming building in southwest Detroit, small miracles happen every day. Amidst the bustling sequence of women's GED classes and girls' after-school tutoring, the Mercy Education Project is dedicated to helping women and girls achieve educational success. It is the only program of its kind in Michigan that serves strictly females. When you're in class, remember when you were in high school, you didn't want to go up to the board because you didn't want to embarrass yourself, you got the wrong answer. Well, now it's like everybody does it. Everybody wants to do it because they feel more open about it. It's all women, and I love that. Like, it makes you feel more open, you're able to do more. I've, I've just been so very, very happy because the women that I meet here are very, very special. And the program has goals that just fit what I would like to see happening to women. Mercy Ed empowers women. I find that just having women in a classroom atmosphere is very, very favorable. It does so much for the women. First of all, they don't have to worry about the male counterpart and what they're thinking of them. So they find a, a freedom, a freedom to be who they are. They find a, a sense of community, of being just with the women and uh, women that they can rely upon for support, uh, women that could be there just to share their life with. And, and because of that, they bond. They bond very well. They build up a, almost like a spirit of community from the classroom. The Mercy Education Project has worked with over 1,500 women who come from a cross-section of many cultures and experiences. Many have struggled with poverty, family dysfunction, learning disabilities, and unfortunate life events. This, the experience that I received here at Mercy Ed was wonderful. It, I loved the individualized attention that I got on multiple subjects because I only had a sixth grade education. It only took me six months to learn everything I needed to learn to get my GED. And from there, I went to Wayne County Community College. I have my associates in criminal justice corrections. I transferred to Mary Grove College. I am going for my bachelor's in criminal justice corrections and my life is completely different now due to my experiences and I would just love to help somebody else change their life. The Vigorous program has earned Crane's Best Managed Nonprofit Award and has attracted support from many sectors of the community. In our girls program, we provide door-to-door -door bus service. We pick the girls up at school, bring them to our facility, they have a hot meal, and then we take them home. And that ensures that they're here every day and that they're gonna succeed, because if they're not here, they're not gonna succeed. In our women's program, we also provide door-to-door -door transportation if they live in Southwest Detroit. We provide bus passes, we provide childcare, because we know that childcare and transportation are two of the biggest barriers for women, preventing them from getting their education. I think that these supports have helped us to have one of the highest retention rates in the state of Michigan. 47% of adults are functionally illiterate, over half the adults in Southwest Detroit don't have a high school diploma, and about a quarter never finished the ninth grade. So these are some pretty stark statistics, but we see that our program is helping girls graduate from high school, go on to be the first in their families to go to college. We're seeing women in our program get their GED after being in a family where nobody had graduated from high school. MEP is looking to link with a network of educational resources in the community to assure student success once they leave MEP. Sustenance in the form of individual donations and corporate gifts will be needed to make enhanced programming a reality. We at uh, Mercy Education Project believe that when we educate a woman, we educate her family. Now here's how that works. When you see the amount of hard work and perseverance dedication and pure grit that it takes for our women and our girls to complete this portion of their education. Our donors, our staff, our board, uh, all of our stakeholders uh, really understand that when we start a ripple in this pond, it goes on 
beyond the edge of the pond. It goes on for uh, a generation and sometimes two. That's 50 years, it's a half a century. When's the last time you were able to make that sort of difference in anybody's life? See, we expect our, our women and our girls not just to survive, but we want them to flourish. So I ask you to come and join us. We are proud of our past. We are enthusiastic about our present and we're enthusiastic about our future. Here at the Mercy Education Project, we help break the cycle of poverty by assuring that women get the education they need to enter the workforce and provide for a positive future for their families. Likewise, with the girls in our after-school tutoring program, we are laying the foundation in reading and math to prepare them to graduate from high school and go on to college. Oftentimes, they are the first in their families to do so. That's how we seek to support girls and women and their families and honor the spirit of the Sisters of Mercy. Mercy Education Project. It is a doorway to a brighter future for women and girls.